guys welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to be doing a little, well i'm going to be showing you um this e-file i purchased it from an online catalog um it costs 55 pound bargain we do love a bargain um it goes up to 35 rpms um and the brand is rio now rio is why i got into nails um, they did um, at, at home uh, acrylic and gel uh, bundle and I got them and yeah I am now um, a qualified nail technician um, so I have to say thanks to Rio um, yeah for uh, pushing me and encouraging me to find something I love in life um, so yeah so thank you Rhea so let's go through the box so we've got some sand bands here uh, I'm not quite sure the grits on them um, I normally like to have them labelled so I know what ones I have you can generally feel just by touching them how if they're um, high grit or low grit um, you also get the little um, draw bits that you get with every e-file um, don't really use them um i would buy quality uh draw bits so i use my i'll use my melody susie um draw bits because uh, i paid a lot of money for those um so here this is the manual uh please if you do purchase an e-file firstly only purchase one if you've had gonna have some training or if you're qualified e files can be extremely dangerous and damaging to the nail if not used correctly and if they've not had if the person using the tool has not been trained or is not even qualified um so please please make sure you get some training and get qualified don't forget to read the manual always read the manual before you use the uh, unit um for health and safety reasons It'll also tell you on there how to clean, um, etc. How it works, any troubleshooting, all that stuff that you need to know. It came with this little set here. Um, I'm not sure if it's for the foot or for the hand. I mean, I do like this little one here and the other little white one. Um, I think the fattish looking one is a buffer. Um, I don't do feet, so... So yeah, when I done my training, um, it was mainly for the hands. It wasn't really feet, um, but yeah. Anyway, so we have a cable here. Now the unit is actually well, the e-file should I say, is rechargeable, which is amazing, um, especially for the for the price as well. Um, so we're going to look at the hand piece now. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan in the background. It's still quite warm in uh, Birmingham. So, yeah. So, in comparison to my Melody Susie one, it's a tiny little bit heavier, I want to say. Um, but not overly heavier. Just You can just tap a slight little, little bit. Um, so, yeah. So, it's a nice silver barrel. It's got the safety bit in. Um... And that's where you would put your drill pieces. It's got a locking mechanism. So you can take that barrel out. And then the safety barrel out. And put your draw bits in. At the bottom as, you, as you've seen. There was um, the slot for the, the cable. To connect to the unit. Um, which we're going to look at now. The unit has a dial face. Um, you can't see it when I switch it on, unfortunately, but, um, yeah, so it's, it's a, it's a nice unit, um, it's got Rio name all over it, tells you all the information on the back, uh, the vaults and, and so on, comes with the little, um, stand that I, you put your hand piece in, can't seem to get my words out today, um, so yeah, so that's, nice and cute stands up as well which is really good 
Um, you can clip it onto your belt if need be, if you're moving around, or you can just sit it on your desk and use it that way. Um, as I said, it's a dial, so you just um, slide it round or turn it round and the speed will go up or down. So we're putting the wire in now that's going to connect to your handpiece. Uh, just just getting a feel for it in my hand with that wire on there it's got two ports uh, it's got an in and an out now this is what the cables for so I'm assuming that one is for charging uh, depending on your plug you can probably you turn it around use the other you like use the X can't get me words out use the USB um, to charge it as well so um, that's really really good We've got a forward and a reverse. So obviously when you're doing one side of the nail, you use the reverse. And then when you go to the opposite side of the nail, you use the forward. Depending on um, if you're left or right handed, etc. It's got the on and off button. Um, I think you need to hold the on button down um, to switch it on. And don't switch it on until you put your draw pieces in. So I'm just holding down there and then you can't see it, um, but it is on. It's just that you can't see it on the screen. I was trying to show you, but it just, yeah, it just, you couldn't see it. My light was shining on it, so it just, you just couldn't see it. Um, I turned it all the way up to 35 RPMs. Uh, you don't need it that high. I just wanted to feel the vibration. In that hand piece um, there wasn't a lot of vibration I have to say um, very minimal um, so I turned it right down I think what, what did I say I turned it down to between 10 and 15 rpms no I think it was lower than that because I was using it on my nail I think it was down to about two or three I think I I can't even tell I think it might have been three you can just kind of see there one minute so i've zoomed in as you can see it's on zero two so that's all i had it on on my nail you can't see it. i'm not showing you my nail but i'm just showing you that it is on um here's me just saying to not to go down at a 45 degree angle because you will do a lot of damage to your nail make sure it's nice and flat um and you want to glide it round you don't want to dig it into your um, cuticle area So we're going to turn that off no we're not <laughs> we're using the opposite so we use reverse and then we're using forward um sorry i'm a little bit out of frame there but you will get all this information on your training day um so yeah please make sure that you do get some form of training um and don't use it on anybody else um until you're qualified um so yeah so that's really it it was it was just a quick you know a little bit of a bargain that i got and i thought i'd share it i don't need one um i think i've got two melody susie ones i've got a cheap one from amazon yeah i'm a bit of a hoarder um, maybe i need to uh get rid of the others but yeah, um, like I said, I didn't need it. I, it was just an impulse buy. Um, so yeah. So I will leave the link for it. If I can get a link for it, um, then I will leave it in the drop down box. Um, it just depends because obviously it was from a a, a catalogue, online shopping catalogue. Um, I'm not sure if you can get the link, but we'll see. If I can, I will put it in the drop-down box. Thanks, guys, for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.